Not going to do it. Not going to do it. Nope. Oh, fuck Brady Quinn. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. We'll say this. I've got him going under this number at five wins. And here's why. Their season's going to be over before they get to the bye. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Their bye comes November 13th. And they've got to play Baltimore. They've got to play basically uh, almost the entire the entire AFC North to start the season. They might go 0 and 4. Uh, and then you've got that winnable game versus the Dolphins. Great, they get to host them. They're going to feel pretty desperate, and pretty beat up after an 0 and 4 start. Then the Packers, a, uh, a a trip out to the Denver Broncos with Russell Wilson, the Patriots, Bills. I mean, there's a there's a realistic scenario where they're 1 and 8 here, maybe 0 and 9. I mean, as good as the roster has improved. I just haven't been a believer in Zach Wilson. I think this is an unbelievably difficult schedule that lightens up in the second half, but it could be decimated by that point. So I've got them winning five games and probably going back to the drawing board at the quarterback position in the 2023 draft. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I go live every Tuesday for our Talking Jets panel. Myself, O'Leary, and Green Beans, so ask us all your jet-related questions, but let's move on to today's topic of the day. It's got me a little fired up, and that is Brady Quinn saying the Jets will go 0-9 to start the season. This guy, if you're wondering who this is, rightfully so. You might be saying, is this the love child of Brady, Tom Brady, and Harley Quinn? Not so fast. You are talking about a failed Notre Dame quarterback that's just spiteful trying to get clicks and, oh, it's got me all sorts of triggered and I'm really upset that I have to make a video about this because I didn't want to make a video about this, but I felt triggered. So I guess it worked. Mm. Brady Quinn, for those of you that don't know, Brady Quinn was like the 20-some-odd pick in whatever draft and he wound up falling all the way down to that pick because he wasn't a good enough quarterback and he wound up failing in the NFL. This guy has four wins in his career. Zach Wilson almost tied that. The Jets had four wins last year, but we got one of the wins from, uh, you know, Mike White, so not technically four wins for Zach Wilson. But Zach Wilson pretty much had this guy's career win threshold in his rookie year. And this guy says he doesn't believe in Zach Wilson, was never a believer in Zach Wilson. That's because he is biased. Screw this guy. No way. The Jets... Look, I understand the beginning part of this schedule is hard. And in a very doom and gloom, like anti-optimistic way, could the Jets go 0-9? I would say yes, it's far more likely that the Jets go 0-9 than they go like on some crazy sort of win streak by any stretch of the imagination. But you'll look at the beginning of this schedule. The Baltimore Ravens, there's no guarantee they're going to click right off the bat. They had a ton of injuries at the beginning of last season that held them over through the entirety of this season. They wound up getting the 14th overall pick. So there's no reason the Jets can't possibly catch them sleeping to start the season. The Browns, Deshaun Watson may not even be playing. Who the hell's their quarterback? <laughs> Baker Mayfield's not playing. Get the hell out of here. Then you got the friggin' Bengals. The Jets beat the Bengals last year. And then the Steelers, I'm sorry, the corpse of Big Ben last year, I think is still better than Mitch Trubisky or Kenny Pickett. So I think there's definitely a chance that the Jets wind up winning one of those games. <sighs> this is the kind of frustration I got to deal with. Ugh. Look, I understand the Jets schedule is not favorable. But to say you don't believe in Zach Wilson, you never believed in Zach Wilson, but then to have like no idea what the Jets have added this entire offseason, like not even just the free agent class, not just the draft class that everyone's gushing over. The Jets are basically getting back four free agents or four players that they didn't have last year, and they had four wins. Makai Becton, Carl Lawson, Vinny Curry, LaMarcus Joyner, all those guys didn't play like at all besides like half of week one. So on top of all the talent the Jets added, on top of our rookie quarterback having a year under his belt and improving as the year went on, he cut down on the turnovers. We're going to generate more turnovers because of our defense and because of the pass rush that we were supposed to have last year that we didn't have last year. Our rookie head coach has another year under his belt. Our offensive coordinator really hit his stride during the course of last year. And we actually have a defense. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't think the Patriots are anything to write home about. 
I don't think the Dolphins are anything to write home about. I think the Jets can beat the Steelers. I think the Jets can beat the Browns. I think there's a realistic shot the Jets win four games before the bye week. And that's not saying a whole heck of a lot. I'm not trying to win the Super Bowl. But you know what? Jets have 150 to 1 odds to win the ring. You know who had 151 to 1? Or 151. 150 to 1 odds to win? Rich Strike, the horse that won the Kentucky Derby. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is absolutely a chance the Jets cannot go 0-9. The Jets are poised for a big season. I'm not talking about wins. I'm not really, I don't care so much about the wins as much as I oh, get burnt up over people like really hating on the Jets. We're going to have a successful season. There's a lot of hope for the New York Jets. This offense is way better. The offensive line has improved. The wide receivers have improved. The running backs have improved. Our quarterback is going to improve in year two. Our head coaching has improved. Our offensive coordinator will improve. Our defensive coordinator is going to improve purely because he's got chess pieces on the defense. Defensive line's improved. Cornerback's improved. Safety's improved. Tell me why we can't win one game. At least one game in the first nine. Get the hell out of here. Said I wasn't going to do it. I did it. I made the video. Ugh. Boys and girls, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think the Jets could go 0-9? Or do you think Brady Quinn is just little? Bitch! This is Jets Talk signing off. J-E-T-S!